I'm bringing you a management book from a true baller in this video. Thanks for joining me for another book report video. I am Ross and in this series, I help bring to you some of the books that I've read in an effort to help inform and improve your business. Today's book I'm really excited about because it combines two of my favorite things. Yes, reading and learning, but also basketball. I love basketball. In fact, I'm out here several times a week shooting hoops. It helps to clear my mind. So today's book is called 11 Rings, The Soul of Success, and it's by Phil Jackson. For you non-sports people out there, Phil Jackson was an NBA player and an NBA coach. Most notably, he coached the Chicago Bulls and the LA Lakers. In fact, he is the most winningest coach in the sports history. That's right, all of sports. He's won 11 championships, hence the title of this book, 11 Rings. So one other thing you should know about Phil Jackson, I mean, aside from his crazy number of championships, is that he was called the Zen master by sports journalists. And this is because he incorporated mindfulness, Zen Buddhism, and a lot of Eastern philosophy into his coaching. Don't be fooled though. Yeah, there's a lot of basketball in this book. However, at its core, it's a management book. Highlight number one, assessment. In 11 Rings, Phil Jackson writes about approaching each moment with a curious mind, free of judgment. He goes on to write, if your mind is empty, it will always be ready for anything. It is open to everything. In the beginner's mind, there are many possibilities, but in the expert's mind, there are few. I really like this because this is something I think that you can apply to how you go into consulting sessions. I'm gonna tell you right now, when I go into my consulting sessions, I literally have no idea what services I'm gonna offer my prospective client. And you may be saying, no idea? What the hell is wrong with you? Because I don't wanna bring that baggage. I don't wanna bring that bias into that call with me. I wanna be very open-minded, very curious, ask questions of the people who have contacted me. Find out what's the right solution, not what's the solution that you want to offer. Highlight number two, all about leadership. Leadership is not about forcing your will on others. Leadership is about learning the art and act of letting go. This is definitely very zen right here. And I'm gonna tell you, in the past year, I've grown my business, brought on two part-time employees, and this is so true. Part of being a good leader, not just a good manager, a leader is about letting go. I think it's about openly communicating where you want the business to go, the expectations that you have for someone, but then you got at some point just let go. You cannot micromanage people. You can't own all the processes. That's why you have other people on your team. Highlight number three, success. In this book, Phil Jackson shares a Buddha saying, there's only a tenth of an inch difference between heaven and earth. So why am I bringing this up in this book review? If you're an entrepreneur, if you're a small business owner, if you're someone who's working on a side hustle, the difference between success and failure, where they touch, tenth of an inch, tenth of an inch. Imagine how small that is the difference between making it and not making it. And this actually plays in nicely with another book review I did on The Dip. You can check out that video right up here. The Dip talks about when is the right time to quit and when is the right time to stick. Well, this narrative of a tenth of an inch difference between the two, I just think it's a major thing. You may not even be aware of how close you are, but you need to keep pedaling. Thanks so much for watching, and if you want to read 11 Rings, check out the link below in the description. And before you go, if you want more videos on digital marketing and business growth, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And until next time, keep pedaling.